everyone, it's Kat. Today I have a fall wardrobe refresh. Now this will be part one, as this is the more higher end items that I have purchased, and then part two I'll be releasing next week as I'm still waiting for a couple things to come in, and that video will mostly cover the stuff I've purchased from Zara and Express. So stay tuned for that. I have had a lot of gaps in my closet, and for a long time my style has really been kind of geared towards hiding if that makes sense so not a lot of figure flattering pieces more oversized and i realized that i want to kind of change my style to a more feminine look so i had been on the lookout for some really nice pieces and let me tell you this has been really kind of hard because what i'm kind of looking for in terms of tailoring is really hard to find um, just in terms of cost because it can be really expensive or for example quality and for example I bought some sweaters from Ralph Lauren and the quality for that brand has I think declined over the years um, the knits were very thin and not as nice as in the past where they were much more thick same thing with anthropology I got some dresses from there and I ended up returning them because the quality just was not there for the price so I'm gonna show you some of the nicer things that I got and also this will be a try on haul so I'll have a clip next to me as I'm talking about the item of me trying on the item so you can see how it fits so the first thing is this denim shirt from Lauren Ralph Lauren and it is super cute because it has these kind of puff sleeves and then a really tailored arm so it's very flattering and then the shirt itself is really flattering in the shape and I got a size small petite I believe this was the smallest size they had and it has really nice detailing so it has these um, buttons with the like pearly look to them and it snaps and then there's two pockets with some nice embroidery detail here and I think this will be a great kind of fall staple because you can use it for layering since it is a denim piece but also for the more western style clothing this is a great piece to have so the next piece is this dress from Stodd and oh my gosh, when I saw it, I immediately fell in love. And Stodd thankfully has such amazing pieces. They're super figure flattering, super great quality. And I bought this dress. It's a little black dress and it's kind of in a thicker fabric. It's very, it's like a tight knit, tightly knit fabric. And it has this faux leather collar detailing and button detailing. And what I love about this is that since it is black and brown, you can really do a lot with this piece. You can use black boots, brown boots, black bags, brown bags, and since it's neutral, you can add a cool coat with this, anything that's colorful, and really play up the collar aspect. And this fits so nicely. I got a size extra small, and I really love it. And I also love the contrast stitching as well. I also love the contrast stitching. It's a super nice detail. So highly recommend this dress or any other Stodd dress I will definitely be purchasing from them more in the future. Next, I have two blazers, and the first one is from Trina Turk, which I love her swimsuits. She always has swimsuits with super fun patterns, also super figure flattering, and I personally have very broad shoulders, so finding blazers is really difficult for me because they might fit in the shoulder, and then they don't fit on my waist or under my arms and it just doesn't work like i have this blazer from h m that is so bad but i just kept it because i need one and like the fit is so so off so to find a blazer like this i was super excited about because it is tailored so well so it is just a plain black blazer and it's almost in a i would say like a jersey fabric but it's very thick and then it has two buttons and it's very simple, nothing too crazy. It has the lapels and it is all black. And yes, I will show you. I mean, it fits so nicely. And it also has this pocket detailing. I don't know if you can see. They're not real pockets, of course, but it still looks really good on. And I was so happy because I was like, finally, I have a nice classic black blazer, perfect for fall and winter. And it really is figure flattering, which like I said at the beginning of the video is something I am really trying to add to my wardrobe. Next, I have this other blazer that I was so happy to find. It is from the brand Smythe, which I had not heard of before, 
but this blazer is so so nice and if you're looking for something that kind of has a chanel tweed look to it without the chanel tweed price then i would highly recommend these blazers so here is how it looks it is in the prettiest combo of plaid i've ever seen it has white and black but then also has light pink yellow and like kind of cobalt blue interlaced within it and it is such a nice combo and it's a really warm blazer because it is 100% wool on the outside and even the buttons are really really nice there's this nice gold and then on here you have another big gold button it's the same and it is cut so well if you can see the lines here and how nicely they did it because this fabric is not all connected but they sewed it along this line here and as you can see they matched the areas where the flannel crosses super well. This also has pockets and I will make sure to include clips of me trying it on. As you can see, it's also super fitted, very tailored. It fits me in the shoulders and really highlights my waist really nicely, which I was so happy to find because like I said, my proportions shoulder-wise and waist-wise are sometimes a little tricky to find items in. So I was so happy to find this blazer and this brand has so many other great combos of colors in their flannel. So if you're interested, definitely check them out. I am like, I wanna get more blazers from this brand. The next thing is this skirt from Oscar de la Renta and I'm usually not a big skirt person, but this one was just too pretty to pass up. So it is this navy blue and it has this like black ruching on the top and it's almost like a honeycomb pattern and as you can see it starts off really small and then gets bigger as you go down the skirt and i believe this is like a bit higher it's like almost knee length if not a bit higher shorter than that so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found it interesting please be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part two of this video which is more of is which will be items from Zara and Express and be sure to follow my Instagram right now My username is at the Lux catalyst and I'll have it on the screen here I hope this video was interesting and maybe you found some new brands you hadn't heard of before and might check out yourself If so, please leave a comment down below and be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. All right. I will see y'all next time. Bye